Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I wish you guys could see me before. I wish y'all could see me these um, last few minutes before I go on. Try, trying to get everything set up. Good morning, you guys. Let me know when you're on. Oh, my new lamps are casting a crazy light on my face. I may have to turn them off. I got some new lamps. You want to see? Can you see? <clears throat> Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Pam. How are y'all? It's Friday. Fancy Food Friday. Thanks for joining me. My name is Tracy, and I am... Um, uh, the owner of Tracy's Fancy, and I join you guys here every morning, every Friday morning at 9 o'clock so we can discuss our uh, healthy way of eating lifestyle and, for me, the autoimmune protocol diet journey. And, um, and we talk about other things, and we hang out and um, drink coffee and just sort of encourage each other to be healthier and um, even a little bit of DIY and painting because that is, you know, what I mostly do on all the other days of the week. So, hi Melissa, you're catching us live. Good to see you on here, I'm so glad. Hi Tammy, how are you? <clears throat> I hope I haven't forgotten anything. I was kind of scrambling at the last second, so I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, I have a timer set today because I never know what time it is. I have an old fashioned egg timer ticking over there in the corner, and it's a little bit distracting to me. Um, like I need to throw a pillow over it, or I might throw a pillow at it <laughs> here in a minute. So, and I also am thinking, that's so funny, Pam, that you said cute top, because I was thinking that um, I kind of look like Mrs. Roper. Do you think I look like Mrs. Roper? It's like, it's totally Mrs. Roper. And to be honest, let me tell y'all, this, this top is a hand-me-down. It's very precious to me. Um, some of you may know about, uh, mm, let's see, it was last year, uh, my cousin, my precious cousin Melinda lost her battle to breast cancer and she's my, we're the exact same age and uh, we did not grow up together since I was adopted. Um, I didn't meet her until I was 21 <laughs> and you loved Mrs. Rofer. <laughs> hey Julie, how are you honey? Yay, Julie made it on time to the right place. That's a funny story that I might share with people in just a minute. Good morning, Emily. Thanks for being here. Anyway, uh, Mel uh, Melinda, my, my soulmate that I didn't meet until I was 21, um, she lost her battle to, cancer, to breast cancer. And she, uh, several trips that I went to visit her and see her before she passed, she insisted, insisted, and talk about awkward feeling, um, going through her closet and giving me a lot of her clothes because she knew she she was a clothes horse, let me tell you. So I have a closet full of her clothes, and this is one of them. <laughs> this is one of my Melinda tops. <laughs> Who's saying that about their inner Mrs. Roper? That's hilarious. Laura, is that what these are called? Caftans? Yeah, Melinda had several of these, so... Anyway, I like, thanks you guys, thank you. So I'm so happy that you guys are here today. Today's gonna be a little bit different. Um, thanks, Julie. Uh, Julie, you guys, Julie a few weeks ago um, showed up at the tail end of an hour long live video that we did here. She had been watching a live video that she thought was live from the week before for 45 minutes and she kept commenting and she kept wondering why I wasn't responding to any of her comments and she was starting to get her feelings hurt and then her you know the little inner doubt self was like is Tracy mad at me is she upset with me she's ignoring me and it took her 45 minutes poor Julie y'all give Julie some love <laughs> give her some give her some laughs please 45 minutes you guys she watched a video that she thought was live oh and this is the best part She'd seen the week before's video. Like nothing in her brain was saying, I've already heard this. <laughs> she did, she says she did think to herself, wow, Tracy's really searching for content. She's talking about the same stuff. <laughs> Aunt Kathy, Aunt Kathy's on. Aunt Kathy, I haven't seen you in a couple weeks on here. You've been busy. You've been busy out there in the country. You couldn't join us. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, Mary. Anyway. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get down to, uh, I said it's going to be a little bit different today because we are not going to talk a whole lot about food today. 
Um, I think a lot of us on here are already in it. We're on the roll. Um, I'm getting lots of good messages with lots of good questions, and I think people are uh, getting comfortable with the idea of juicing and uh, organic food and whole food and the salads and Laura, my past episodes are archived in on my website. You can catch all every single episode at tracysfancy.com. Tracysfancy.com. If you go there uh, on the main landing page, you will see a square that gives you a choice for Fancy Food Friday. And you go there. And all of the episodes are logged there. Um, and we'll talk more about my website in just, in just a minute. So anyway, let me catch you up. Um, for those of you that may be joining for the first time, before when you share this, because today we're going to talk about sharing a lot, not just Facebook sharing, but sharing of ourselves, sharing of our time, sharing of our knowledge, sharing of our hearts. Um, we're going to talk about sharing today because that's this has been a big week of sharing for me here, you guys, and there is so much growth in sharing. There is so much reward in sharing, and um, you guys are sharing of your time just being here with me. Good morning, Kareen, and good morning, Heather. I've talked to both of you so much this week. I love having you here today. And Corinne is on. We're going to talk about Corinne in just a little bit. So anyway, um, I uh, I have uh, I was diagnosed in October with an autoimmune disease, autoimmune hepatitis. Um, my liver is uh, greatly damaged. I'm in the process of going through um, immunosuppressive therapy and um, repair, hopefully giving my liver time to repair, shutting down my immune system so that it can do that. And I have adapted um, to the autoimmune protocol diet um, to give my body absolutely everything it needs and to give it the, the best chance possible to regenerate and repair and get back to where I want to be. So um, <laughs> Julie wants me to share my grandbaby. I'm sure you could talk her mom into that. A little repair work done, Aunt Kathy. Aunt Kathy was getting some repair work done. What? Mm -mm, I can't wait to hear about that. That's pretty exciting, and I'm so jealous. Oh my gosh, that's really exciting. You have to tell more if you feel like it. If you feel like sharing, because we're talking about sharing. Okay, so anyway, I am on day 68 of the autoimmune protocol diet. So for 68 straight days, hardcore, without fail, without cheating, I have followed a very, very, very strict elimination phase of the diet. If you wanna know more about it and you don't know enough about it, you can find that on my website at tracysfancy.com and um, you can read up my, my version of it and um, you can also check out autoimmunewellness.com or AIP, AIPwellness.com. It's two women um, that I love the way they write and lay things out. And if you're interested, I highly suggest their website also. So um, I'm also on day 79 of prednisone and another medication that's an anti-rejection drug that is um, making my body sort of back off my liver. It's trying to reject my own liver, so I'm on that medication also it acts as a steroid also so um, but I do have to tell you guys that I uh, started out on 40 milligrams of prednisone for a couple of months and um, I am now two weeks into weaning I went from 40 to 35 for a week and now I am down to 30 I started 30 on Wednesday so that's really good that means that my labs have um, maintained themselves and my doctor feels comfortable with me trying to come down on the steroids they want to get me down to 20 for a while from 40 to 20 so I'm at 30 until next Wednesday um, what happens when you go through the weaning process? Um, you do have some withdrawals when you've been on high doses for a long time, so I'm really shaky right now um, for probably the last week, especially yesterday and day before. I was real trembly, um, and it's just withdrawal symptoms. So kind of, you know, I know it's wonderful news. It is really wonderful news, and I'm super excited about it. It's really the only withdrawal that I have felt. It's just this trembling that's kind of going on all over, and they told me that that would happen. Um, during the uh, withdrawal, I mean, during the weaning process, they also said it's super important to um, try to stay as less little stress as possible and rest, and um, that's difficult. 
for me. We'll talk about that in a second. So I will also tell you guys, um, I'm doing all my personal stuff up front so we can get this out of the way, but I have to share it with you guys because there is a lot of people, there are a lot of people that watch these videos, you guys, and a lot of them do have an autoimmune disease and they understand the steroids and um, they need to hear this. So for those of you here for, who are here for just diet only, I'm sorry that you have to hear all this medication stuff, but it is why I'm doing it. So give me, give me just a little bit of grace and give me a few seconds to explain. Um, I'm on, I did have a, um, a new infection where it's had yesterday morning. Um, it, so when you're on high doses of prednisone, you, uh, you're suppressing your immune system and you not only catch things from other people, but I've told you guys that you catch things that brew inside your own body all the time. And for women, y'all know that that is, um, like urinary tract, tract infections and bladder infections, um, things like that. So yeah, I have a new bladder infection that just Boom, and that's the thing, they just show up. I mean, they literally just show up. There's no warning, I had no pain, I had no urinary frequency, I had no bladder spasms. I woke up yesterday morning, went to the restroom, and it looked like a murder crime, it looked like a crime scene in the toilet. Sorry for the TMI, sorry, but I mean, I was shocked. I was like, what the heck? I mean, it was terrible, you know? Um, I'm past menopause, I don't need that in the toilet, and I was like, what is that? So yeah, I went on and, you know, they got me right in and they get you on an antibiotic fast when you have no immune system because it can turn into something really ugly pretty fast. So um, I got over there and started on an antibiotic yesterday. So um, I will tell you that in the, in the 79 days that I've been on this immunosuppressive therapy, it's my sixth infection. So they weren't kidding when they tell you that you will... It's, you know, for these two years that you're gonna do this until you get your next biopsy or, you know, whatever your plan of attack is, that's my plan, um, you, you'll, you'll stay sick, you'll get sick a lot. So, my point is, I cannot imagine how I would feel if I were not on this diet. I can't imagine because I am fueling my body with nothing but pure goodness. I am fueling my body with an overload of vitamins, with an overload of protein, with an overload of micronutrients. So can you imagine if I weren't on that? I mean, I think I would just be in a pit of depression. I think I would just be like in my bed, achy and sore and inflamed and swollen and sad and crying. And I'm not, I'm not. I. I, it's keeping me so up. I mean, yes, I've got these little underlying infections brewing, but I don't, I mean, I really don't feel them. The coughs, even when I had those horrible rattly coughs that you guys could hear in the early videos, if you go back and watch any of those early videos, those are the first ones that got me were in my chest. And, um, but I still felt good. I still felt good. So I am so thankful. I'm so thankful to Corinne, my nutritionist, who, who approached me early on as soon as she found out about this and said, um, yeah, and said, let me help you, let me help you. So yes, Julie, they would. And honestly, I did start an antibiotic and I just have to, I have to because I have to, um, but I haven't been on six antibiotics. I've only been on three antibiotics. So, um, you know, three of those, I said, no, I want to ride this out and it worked. It worked. So, um, and thank you, Tammy. And, uh, I hate, I, I don't want you to be proud of me. I just, I just love that you're here and that you're with me and that you're willing to listen and that y'all got, you guys are willing to share this with other people because there, I'm telling you, there are so many people that are dealing with this out there and they're, they don't want to talk about it or they're embarrassed or, or they're private, but they still, they need to hear it. So, um, so Okay, so my point about this is countless reasons why your loved one. <laughs> Thank you, infectious. No pun intended. Thank, you. thanks, Laura. Thank you, sister. Um, so anyway, during this time, even though I'm feeling really, really good, I am supposed to be resting a lot. And I will tell you that when you are on a lot of steroids, rest can be really difficult. I have not had trouble sleeping. And remember, if you listened to one of the first couple of videos, um, uh, I, I don't know if it's the diet or because my diet, I'm so satisfied, or I don't know if it's because um, I had a, another sweet, sweet, sweet young thing approach me early on when she found out. Um, her name is Amy Forney, and she is another furniture painter. If you'll give her some love, her, her face, 
her Facebook site is The Modish Raven, The Modish, M-O-D-I-S-H, Raven, um, on Facebook. And she also is a doTERRA um, essential oil user. And she doesn't sell it. I mean, she does sell it. She is a doTERRA rep, but she's not one of those that's like works it and like puts it out there. But she just gifted it to me in the mail. She sent me a rollerball for sleep. And I've talked to it about on here before, you guys. And I've now used it. I counted yesterday. It's either eight or nine weeks that I've been using it. And I've only talked about it. I haven't pushed it, but I'm pushing it today. It's time. I'm gonna tell you guys that I am so sold on this sleep oil. Now, I love uh, essential oils. I've never bought like official essential oils. I've never invested in them. I am not a big user of them. I mean, maybe like tea tree oil or some lav lavender oil in a cute little diffuser on a table. Um, it, how about anyone else? Let me see some comments. Anyone else out there that you know work in the essential oils in their home? Let me know. Um, Amy is a wealth of information and um, I made the decision to go ahead and sign up. I signed up under her, which she didn't ask me to. She didn't even know I did it. I just went in and signed up, and then I contacted her and said, hey, I signed up. I went on to purchase the oil, and I decided I'm just going to sign up. I have too many people who watch my videos. I have too many people who could benefit from this, and um, they are amazing. So I, I signed up, and I'm not asking you to sign up, but I am going to ask you. If you are on steroids, if you are having trouble with sleep issues, which I know Lachelle, who's on here with us, has already contacted me about sleep issues. She asked me what I use to help me sleep at night. If you, Melissa's saying she uses them for everything and that her kids call her a hippie and Pam's used them for years. So I love this. See, you guys, it's legit. It really is. So if you are menopausal and you're having trouble with sleep, the only one that I can truly push and I feel really, really confident in right now, because I don't tell you guys to try anything unless I've done it, is the one for sleep. So what it is, um, is a blend. It's one of their blends and it's called Serenity. I know this is backwards, doTERRA, there it is. This is what I ordered. This is my brand new little bottle. And if you don't know anything about essential oils, you get it in full strength. So when you order this, you get it in full strength. I would love it if you would use my link. Yes, I benefit from it. Yes, I would make a percentage from it. But I mean, hey, I'm telling you about it, right? And you're gonna get some sleep and it doesn't cost you a penny more than if you just go straight to their website, okay? It's just that they offer it to me. So when this video is over, I'm gonna share a link and I'm also gonna be putting it on my website. Um, so when you go on to order, this is the one I'm pushing. You can shop around and get what you want, but this one is called Serenity. You also would need to order, um, you need to mix it. You don't wanna, you can put this full strength in a diffuser, but you don't wanna put this full strength on your body. So I also ordered their uh, fractionated coconut oil. You don't have to order their fractionated coconut oil. You can get this at like Whole Foods or Sprouts if you want to. Um, be care yes, Tracy is, I read that, Tracy, um, being careful with diffusing in animals. I did read that, and I should mention that. I did read the article. It's been a while. Tracy, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, some people had noticed that their animals were like cats and tiny, little, small animals, like little, like sparkles, like my Sparky, um, that they were becoming sort of lethargic. It's too much for them. So definitely I would not, I would also not diffuse in a baby's room either. I wouldn't, but um, like a big open air, family room, I don't know, I, but I am using way, uh, way diluted fractionated coconut oil with the Serenity. You mix it in, and I'll tell you exactly how to do it, and I will be putting it on my website. You mix it in a roller ball, okay, just like, just like this, just like the old-fashioned, you know, roller balls that we used to use when we were girls. So, um, I didn't order this, Amy sent this to me. I didn't even, I'm sure they carry this on their site, but you can get these also on Amazon. You can get like a box of 12 for like $4 on Amazon. Um, so what Amy told me to do is I fill the bottle, I filled the roller bottle with the fractionated coconut oil. Um, I think this was like $12, and I think this was 20 something dollars, but let me tell you how much you use. This has 250 to 300 drops in it, okay? Um, 250 to 300 drops in here. 
you mix this in that roller ball with 25 drops. So I put 25 drops in that water, roller ball. So this will get me 10 uses. This $25 bottle, I think it was 25 bucks, will get me 10, 10 not 10 uses. It's gonna get me 10 roller balls of this, okay? So what do I do with this at night? I put a little bit on my wrist, I just go dot, dot on my ear. This is what I do. And I do it on the sole of one foot and then I rub my feet together. I, my husband thought I was a complete and total freak when I started doing this. Um, but who's saying they put it on Uncle Bud's last night? My Aunt Kathy. Yes. Yes. Uncle Bud. My Uncle Bud using it? Exactly, Aunt Kathy. I did the same thing with Matt. So the other night he was like, what is that? What You've been doing that every single night. I'm like, Matt, I'm telling you. And he goes, all right, put it on me. He was sound asleep in like 15 minutes, like snoring. And he, he stays up till two and three in the morning watching TV normally. So I was cracking up. So the next morning he woke up and he woke up like this. What was that? What was that stuff you put on me? I just started laughing. He slept all night long. He didn't get up to pee. He gets up every night to pee. TMI, I know, but he didn't. He said, what was that? What was that stuff? And I said, I'm telling you, Matt, I've been trying to tell you, it's so, you will love it. You, you slept really well, didn't you? It's like, I slept really good. I feel a little weird. Is that, is that stuff healthy? Have you checked with your doctor about that? Is that good for your liver? Then he went into like protective zone, you know, that I'm putting something on my body that I shouldn't. So anyway, um, the next night he wanted it again and he did it. He's done it every single night. So we also use it on Sadie, my 11 year old. Um, I just put it right on the back, on her spine and a little bit on her wrist. And uh, Zadie has had sleep anxiety for some reason. She's has a, she's Zadie's ADD. She has a real struggle shutting her brain down at night. She always has um, since she was a newborn. I mean, she just has. My granddaughter, um, I think my granddaughter Kenzie is gonna be like that too, my youngest grandbaby. She's like, doesn't wanna miss a thing. And Zadie is just like that. They have so much the same personality. And um, anyway, Zadie, it, it, we thought she was just super hyper as a baby, but it turns out she just can't shut down at night. Um, and we did melatonin for a while and then we struggled with that and we didn't really want her to be dependent on that. And so we, we've done music, we've done you know stroke touch therapy, <laughs> we've done all sorts of things, but this um, really, really has helped her too. So that's it, I'm through talking about that. Um, I will put the link up. I would love it if you guys would use my link if you wanted to give it a try. And I also want to gift a rollerball to someone. Um, and I think I'm gonna do it to Lachelle. So Lachelle is, was very sincere. Um, Lachelle and her daughter, are, her daughter especially, are having some serious, serious autoimmune struggles right now. And um, so Lachelle, if you're still watching, I'm gonna mix you up a bottle. If you would private message me your address, Lachelle, I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna pay it forward, just like Amy did to me. I would have never known about it if Amy hadn't shared that with me. Um, except Stephanie, Stephanie, my fr local friend here, but uh, Amy had already sent it to me. So I'm gonna pay it forward to Lachelle. And um, you guys, if you decide to order it and you hear about someone struggling, if you could just mix them up a little bottle and pay it forward to them too. I really encourage you to do that. Like I said, it's all about sharing. Good morning, Kathy. Good to see you. Kathy uh, Madison's on. And someone's asking about pregnant, being pregnant on it. Someone's asking that. Vicki. You know what, Vicki? I don't know. I'm new to it. So that is definitely something that I need to... Um, I need to look into. If anyone knows the answer to that, please feel free to share it. I'm sure doTERRA, they, I've heard that they have a wonderful customer service, uh, uh, wonderful response to customer questions. So I'm sure we could find out for you guys and I should know that. So I will certainly ask. So anyway, we are gonna move on from that. Um, that's that. So let's talk about, while Corinne is still on here, I'm gonna skip my next part and I am gonna go to, let's talk about Corinne. I'm promoting today. You guys know that Corinne has been my nutritionist. She contacted me early on. Corinne, let me give you a little bit of um, let me give you a little bit of history here on Corinne. I've known Corinne since she was a, a young lady. I don't know Corinne. How long have I known you? Since you were like 13 or something like that. She is now um, in her 30s and she is uh, a mommy and married and lives in Colorado and she is finishing up her degree and will be a registered dietitian. And she has um, helped me from the get-go with this diet and got me all set up. And I promoted her early on and then she got a little wigged out and got a little overwhelmed because she has 
Uh, she's working her business and she's going to school full time and she's a mom and they run a Airbnb. So she's a busy, busy woman. And um, she got a little wigged out because she got contacted by some people and she's like, oh, I don't know if I have time to do this. Plus, she really, really likes working one-on-one -on -one with people face-to-face. -face. And um, she said, but I live in Colorado and I like to go into people's kitchens, in their homes, in their kitchens, and I like to coach them on diet and nutrition and I like to show them how to meal prep on Sundays for the week. So I said, Corinne, you can't limit yourself like that. You... You need to be open. There's so many people out there that are hungry for this information, not right there in Colorado. You, there, there's so much more out there for you, and you're so good at what you do, and you're, you have such a passion, and I want to see you grow. And, and she was like, no, I'm not ready. So I was like, okay. Well, she did take on a, a follower that I have here, another furniture painter. Her name is Lori. She did take on Lori for um, a personal, like, a one-week meal planning kind of thing, Um Anyway, Lori and her hit it off, and Lori has helped her with graphics to grow her business and has helped her with flyers, and I don't know if she did her website, did she, Corinne? I'm not sure. But anyway, as of yesterday, Corinne has launched her new, and I'm so excited to be a part of, uh, a part of pushing her, um, she could totally do a membership-based group and do a live on Sundays. I know. I know, Melissa. There's so many options to this, right? So, um, it is my, uh, I'm sorry, this is it, lovely-nutrition.com. No website, but she is edit editing it for me. Okay, Corinne. Corinne does have a website. Corinne, right now, in the comments, please. Put your new website up. It's beautiful. I checked it out last night about midnight. I went through. I looked at it, made sure it looked good before I shared it with you guys. Lovely-nutrition.com. Come on, Corinne. Put your, put your website in there. Um, she is offering, this is crazy. I'm going to tell you how much it is. I tried to get her to charge more, and she won't. Um, she is offering a one-hour phone consult with you where she will talk to you for one hour, find out your needs, what you're looking for, what your health issues are. Um, then, in addition to that one hour consult, she will schedule, she, she makes a plan for you, and in that plan she will give you a one week uh, meal plan that you can alter and work with to use. So you get a one week meal plan. Look at all the love you're getting, Corinne. Then, she will schedule with you a three hours, come on guys, three hours face-to-face -face coaching via FaceTime. You set up your phone or your tablet in your kitchen. She sets up her tablet in her kitchen and she gives you three hours on whatever day you choose that y'all work in the kitchen. Ahead of time, she will send you a supply list, a grocery list, everything you need. She will cook alongside you and show you uh, ways to be more efficient in the kitchen, how to work certain utensils, um, how what kind of meal prep containers you need, do you need to take food to work, uh, how you plan for your week ahead of time so that you do not cheat, so that you stay motivated. And then, in addition to that, she will give you one month of emergency unlimited texting if you really need her for a month. For $135, you guys, I think it's $135. Am I right, Corinne? $135. I can't even imagine doing all of that work for $135, but that's what she's willing to do. Um, she's young, she's motivated, and she cares, you guys, and she's really good. She's really, really good. So I wouldn't promote her if not. Um, I encourage you to check her out. She's ready to do it. She's so excited. Follow her on my Lovely Nutrition on Instagram, on Facebook, and her website. Just go to her website. She put the link, and then you can click to her Facebook and her Instagram because she's got those little icons that make it really easy. You can click over and do a follow and like for her there. She posts every day. So, yeah, Elaine, I knew it, you guys. I knew you guys would love that. And let me tell you all, I don't get any kickback from this. I, this is not a sponsored thing. I do some sponsored things. I'm honest when I do it. This is just for... Corinne and as a thank you for being there for me because she seriously has changed my life Okay, she's changed my life and I, it would mean the world to me to watch her grow and to Show her that I was sincere when I said that there are you guys are out there 
No, Kathy, it's not only for an autoimmune. Absolutely not. It's, it's whatever you need. She will meet with you for one hour and find out what your needs are. She's educated in this. She, she can, she can treat absolutely any, any thing, anything. And if she can't, she'll find out a way to hook, hook you up with someone who can. I trust her in that way. Okay. So I love you, Krim. Mm, I hope you see great results from that. You guys, all you have to do on the bottom of the screen is press share. I would love it if you would share this video. It would help me. It will help Amy. It would help Corinne. Um, and, and, and you will be blessed by it too, just for sharing with people that you know. So Aunt Kathy, thank you. Thank you. All right, so that's that. So I think I'm through promoting <laughs> for things that I'm passionate about. So let's see how far I went. We're only 30 minutes in today. My egg timer says 30 minutes. So um, I want to talk to you. I'm going to jump over to you guys and talk to you about parsley. <laughs> Can we talk about parsley for a second? Has anyone been confused by parsley when they're going to buy parsley for your morning juices? Does anyone else use parsley during the day for anything other than their morning juices. I know that when I see Corinne's pictures on her lovely meal prep, she's got like a little sprig of parsley on there sometimes. Excuse me. Which I think is what most people use it for. It's like a de decoration. Not that Corinne is only using it for decoration, but um, who asked me? Who was it who asked me? Who made me go check this? Heather, was it you? I think it's Heather. Heather Tankersley. I think it was... Or was it Melissa? Flat leaf or curly? Exactly. I didn't even know there were different types of parsley until I started doing my morning juice. So you all, you all know that we do, all of us on here should be juicing our green juice every single morning, every single day. Um, and if you shop for your produce, um, you have seen that there are different types of parsley. And Heather sent me a message and she was like, uh, hello, um, there's different types of parsley. What are you buying? And I was like, oh my gosh. I didn't know that either. I'm going to research it. So I did. So this is what I found out. There are different varieties and they, parsley in general, all has pretty much the same nutritional benefits, which is actually huge. It's not a decoration on your plate. There's a reason that we are using parsley. Parsley is has heavy, heavy, heavy loads of vitamin K, vitamin C, vitamin A, folate, and iron. It's a huge antioxidant, and it has wonderful healing properties. So I, my parsley is a pretty big handful, you guys. I told you guys that I put a handful of it in the juice along with the cilantro, so um, there's a reason that we're using it. So it doesn't matter which kind you use. The two most popular are the curly parsley that we all see as decoration, and then also Italian flat. That seems to be, <laughs> Kathy's dogs are eating parsley in her garden. Uh, Italian flat and curly seem to be what I see in my grocery store. So it doesn't matter. Grab which other, whichever. They both have the same, yeah, Tammy, I didn't know either. I had no idea. Um, so they both pretty much have the same benefits. What I see that the difference is, is that Italian flat parsley seems to be, they say it's more fragrant, it's less bitter, and it looks more like cilantro. And you know we're using both. We're using cilantro and Italian parsley, uh, or, or, and parsley in the morning juice recipe. Tracy'sFancy.com, the green morning juice recipe. Check it out, Tracy'sFancy.com, under the green juice section, okay? So yes, you need to, it needs to be in there, Kareen. Um, it needs to be in your juice, for sure. That should be... That should be in your juices every day. So um, they don't seem to differ. They only look and taste different, but the nutritional value is the same. So I hope that helps. Good morning, Jessica. I need a sip of coffee. I wish y'all could see me shake, like my lips shake and my hands are shaking. Mm. Withdrawals, it's withdrawals. <laughs> Not coffee withdrawals. Woo, so anyway. So that's that. That's all I had to share on my, um, about food today, really. Oh no, we have something else, sorry. Smoothie bowls. Let's talk smoothie bowls. Yeah, that was a gulp. <laughs> Let me do one more. One more gulp. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Vicky's saying should be organic. Yeah, Vicky, um, I am 100% organic, unless I absolutely can't find it. 
If I cannot find organic, I buy what I need, I get it home, I soak it in my um, vinegar bath in the sink. All my produce gets soaked in a 50-50 warm water or water and vinegar bath and um, scrub it and then set it up to dry before it goes in my refrigerator or any type of storage. And um, if it's not organic, uh, if it's not organic cucumber, um, I peel my cucumber, which I hate to do that because I really, really want the peel of everything. Um, so let's talk about smoothie bowls for a second, you guys. You know I make smoothies all during the day too. Several, I have a couple smoothies every single day. And my smoothie maker, I do not have the Vitamix, which if you do, good for you because that thing looks freaking amazing. Um, and that is an investment in itself. But I do use the, um, I was gifted by my, my beautiful sister-in-law's, um, the Ninja Bullet. Um, and it makes great smoothies, but it won't make the smoothie bowls for me. There is a ninja bowl. There is a ninja that does make a smoothie bowl. It looks more like a food processor. It's more of like a flat bowl ninja. So I guess it's for making smoothie bowls or uh, more of like a food processor. Um, the reason my ninja smoothie maker will not make a bowl is because it's more like upright, like it's tall. The, the cup that fits on it is tall. So all the stuff sits around the bottom blade and it won't blend what's stacked up at the top. Even if I shake it, tip it, it won't blend these bowls because the smoothie bowls versus a smoothie that you drink through a straw do not have as much liquid in them. So I guess the Ninja that is more of like flat smooth processors only about this tall. It's more flat and wide like a bowl and everything mixes on by that blade versus one that's stacked like a cup. That seems to be what I see the difference is. Um, if you have a Vita mix, they, they mix everything. So the difference is when I make a smoothie that I'm going to drink through a straw, I use a lot of coconut milk and you can use your almond milk or whatever it is that you're using. I can't use almond milk because um, I'm on the AIP diet. Did y'all disappear? I didn't see any responses. Does anyone know? Is anyone making smoothie bowls? Y'all, give me, brrr, I need some love. Are you, do you want to know what they are? I just learned about this yesterday, but I guess it's some big trend that, um, parsley, cilantro, beets, cucumbers, and lettuce are so easy to grow. I know, even in a pot. Kathy, Kathy wants me to grow food. I know. If y'all see me growing food, you guys, we've like, if y'all encourage me to grow food, I can't even imagine how much growth that's going to take for me. I can't. And so if y'all see me do that, <laughs> I, I'm not going to say no. I really don't. I never say never. I don't. I don't say never because as soon as you say never, it's going to happen. So I don't say never, but okay. So yeah, I love my bullet. Don't be discouraged if you bought your bullet from my link. I don't have to have smoothie bowls, but I am going to try to figure this out. What it is you know, after a while, sometimes we just get tired of drinking through a straw. And um, that's why I eat my huge salads every day. And I use, you know, carrots and big chunks of chopped apple because I need to chew. Um, but sometimes you just want a spoon, right? Sometimes you just want some ice cream. So a smoothie bowl is a way of doing exactly the same thing, but you don't put as much liquid in it. And you make like a, you make like your own ice cream right there in a bowl instantly like that fast so look it up smoothie bowl if you just google smoothie bowl you'll see all sorts of recipes but I just did tried to do one last night and it just won't work it was it just I could see it I, it wanted to work around my blade but the rest of it wouldn't mix up so I'm gonna figure out a way to make this happen but what the girls have, are doing is they use either just a small amount of the coconut milk or they use coconut water which uh, made it kind of icy and it, it comes up the same exact consistency. Um, I tried Corinna, you gotta show me then, okay honey? You know how I sent you the tripod video? Send me a little short video with your new fancy phone, okay? I would love that. Um, anyway, uh, it makes a consistency of like a Wendy's Frosty. That's exactly what it looked like to me. Thanks, Corinne. I would love that. So you just use everything that you're putting in your smoothies. Like last night, um, I tried to make it with frozen cherries, um, frozen dark cher organic cherries, um, a little bit of coconut milk, some spinach. Um, I put ca uh, cacao powder in it and some cacao nibs for the chocolate. And um, and <laughs> yes, Corinne, use your new tripod. Exactly. And... Um, 
Anyway, it, I could tell that it tastes really good, but I ended up having to put more milk in it and just make my smoothie and drink it through a straw, which don't get me wrong, I love, love, love. But I really wanted to try it because I wanted to share it with you guys too because you can just eat it with a spoon and you know, it's a mental thing. Just like sometimes I just need to chew. I just want to crunch. And sometimes sitting down with a bowl with a spoon feeling like I'm eating ice cream, which is all completely healthy and full of vitamins would be wonderful. Um, but I ended up drinking it through a straw. So uh, Corinne's going to share that with us. And what else was I going to say about that? Let's see. I think that was it. Yeah, you can add some protein powder. Oh, I put a little bone broth powder in mine. Yes, the co cacao, cacao nibs, you guys. If y'all haven't discovered the cacao, C-A-C-A-O, that what that is, is that's cocoa before it's been processed. It's the nibs. It's the tiny little nibs. And if you put them in your smoothies or in your ninja or in your bullet, or you can even sprinkle them on top of your, on top of your drinks or on top of your, um, smoothies, um, or on top of your bowls, um, they, they have crunch and they're, you know, they have that really strong, um, cocoa powder flavor and it's, they're really, really good. Smoothies and jukely, juicing equally as healthy, but just give a different texture and option. Um, Melissa, I, one of my videos is specifically on that, and it is a video where it shows me juicing. So if you go to tracysfancy.com, oh, Charlene, my sister-in-law's on here from Germany. Are you in Germany, Charlene? Hi, thank you, thank you. I'm a little under the weather, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm so, so happy to see you on here. That always catches me so off guard when my family jumps on. Oh, and good morning, Nini. My mom's on. My mom is on. Are you at the hospital, Nini? My mom is on. My niece is actually in the ICU. Are y'all still in the unit? Um, I love you too, Charlene. My niece is only 18 and she has diabetes and she went into DKA, D diabetic ketoacidosis. She got really sick on Monday um, with um, diarrhea, a stomach bug, and I don't know if y'all know this, but diabetics, dehyd they don't have much room. They dehydrate really, really quickly. In fact, my husband, Charlene's brother, is also diabetic, and he has, uh, before we knew he was diabetic, I mean, he's just this, was this strong, healthy, virile guy, and he would get a stomach bug, and we'd have to call, he would bottom out and end up on the foyer, and we had to call EMS. He had to be taken by ambulance like three different times um, before we found out he was diabetic. And what they said was is that diabetics dehydrate really rapidly. And anyway, my niece ended up in um, DKA and in the ICU. And how's she doing, Nini? What is the painting behind me? That That's Charlene's brother. That's my, look, he's got a beer in his hand. You ready? That painting is my husband. Can y'all see? He is the most beautiful man on earth. I love him with every ounce of my being. He is so gorgeous inside and out. He's kind of a little bit of a hard ass on the out, outer shell, um, but he's just a pushover, trust me. And that painting um, was done by my cousin. I commissioned him to paint that. His, my cousin's name is Brian, and he did that oil painting for me for Matt's 40th birthday, which was kind of a long time ago. Um, it's an oil painting and it's one of my favorite photos of Matt and um, I sent that to him and had it painted and I love it and Matt doesn't, Matt likes it, it's a good painting. He's impressed with my cousin's um, abilities to paint it, but he doesn't like that I hang it in the family room. He thinks it needs to be like in a, in a closet. <laughs> He's embarrassed by it, but me and my daughter Haley think it's the best the picture of him ever, so thank you. Um, Nini, thank you for letting me know she's better. I'll call you later today, okay? Um, anyway, oh, y'all got me off track. <laughs> where was I? Where was I? I don't remember where I was. I have no idea. Anyway, yeah, bowls. Try smoothie bowls. Hey, beautiful, Stephanie. Hello to you, too. It was, it, you know whose top this was, Melinda? I mean, oh, pff, I said Melinda. I was going to say Nini. Guess whose top this is? Nini knows. Melinda's Nini's niece. Um, yeah, you're coming in late, Steph. That's okay. I'm glad you're here. Oh, I was telling someone about, someone asked, Melissa asked about, uh, if you'll go to tracysfancy.com, look at the videos, and it would be, it would talk about juicing, watch me juice, or something like that. And it completely shows me juicing, and it describes why we juice and what the difference is between juicing and smoothies, okay? So, yes, cacao nibs are amazing. We were talking about bowls. No juicer yet. I blend and strain my green juice. I've read that the process may affect 
the nutrients, any info or thoughts. Um, the process of juicing, they're talking about it affecting the nutrients because they're talking about some juicers that have heat when they spin the uh, centrifugal juicers, which is what I have. Um, it is a centrifugal juicer. It, it um, Every time I see you glow even more and more and getting younger looking. Thanks, Stephanie. You know, you've got that. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. That means a lot. Um, I don't even know what to say. I have so many thoughts on that. I made a comment about that this morning. Um, you know, I don't even, this is going to sound so vain. Um, when you find out that something's wrong, you find out you have to be really, really good to yourself. One of the things is you have to take away all the fluffy stuff of aging. So one of those things is I'm going to be honest right here and tell you guys that, you know what? I've done bouts of Botox in my life. I have, I did it in my forties and I did it in my, just like last year, you know? Um, and I have friends who've been Botoxing forever. So, you know, you do the Botox and I mean, come on, you guys can see it. Look, hello. There's like a roadmap. I know I've got this like penny slot right here and, and I, I know those are, it's vanity, but I did that. I, I injected and injected those things into my face and I never did fillers, but you know, people are doing fillers and you do chemical peel, peels and, uh, you put all kinds of fancy creams on your face and those sort of thing. Um, but, um, I can't do that anymore. So all of that has stopped and I mean, it's been probably a year anyway, but I, I'm not ever going to do those things again. So you know what? I get to grow old with what God gave me and, um, so, you know, I'm not going to look like actresses on TV or a lot of my friends. I'm not going to be as smooth and, and that's okay because I'm here and I want to be here and everything that I'm going to use is going to be natural. And I know that I'm not going to do those things to myself and, uh, because if I could, I probably would. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest, but but I can't, and I really, really appreciate you guys saying those nice things because I'm using all 100% organic natural stuff, but it's the diet. I'm telling y'all, it's the diet. So um, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I don't need these notes anymore. I don't know why I keep holding them. Uh, what else were we going to talk about? Let's see. Someone else asked me something I wanted to address. Squinting, yes. <laughs> yeah. I know. And we should talk about carrots next week, Corinne. We should. Hey, Corinne, you know what? We can come on together. Do you know we can do a Facebook Live? Would you guys like that if I brought Corinne on and we do one of those side-by-sides? Wouldn't that be fun? She's adorable. Let's bring Corinne on. She's so comfortable on the camera. She's brand new at live videos, brand new at it. She did her announce. She's super comfortable. I was like, you're a natural. And, you know, she's like my daughter. So let's, let's figure that out. Next week, can we do that? Are you available, Corinne, next week? Are you available? Let's commit. Next Friday, side by side? I've never done one. I mean, I've done a side by side with like Jennifer Allwood, <laughs> but I've never, I've never hosted a side by side. So let's do that. Yes, I'm willing, I'm ready. Okay, so we're doing that. Potato starch. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, we're doing it. So next Friday, you guys, right here at 9 o'clock, side by side, um, Corinne and me together live. We're going to do it. All right, we'll figure that out. Yay! Her hubby will be home to help with the baby. I don't have anyone here. I'm good. Just me and Sparkles. So anyway, um, you guys, the last thing I want to say is I'm going to ask you one more time to please share these videos. Please, please, please. We have a small number here and I love that. I love that it's small. Um, we usually only keep right around, maybe we hit 50 sometimes that are watching actually live, but most people are working. So I get that. Um, the videos have a really good reach though. If I go back and I look at my reach, they are big. So I do know that you guys are sharing, but if you would share while they're live, it's really helpful. Um, and it isn't so just that I can grow, it's so that we can reach out to more people that need us because the more people that we bring on here, the more people that are commenting, the more people that are with us, the more people that we can touch and we can help, we can nurture, but they do it back to us. They give us information. I learn every single week from you guys. You guys push me to do more research. I mean, like cilantro, I didn't even know. I wouldn't have Googled it, but I had someone ask. Someone's asking about essential oils in pregnancy. I don't know, but now I'm going to know because I'm going to look it up. So 
the more people that are here, the more we all grow and the better we're all going to feel in the long run. And um, you know what? Our businesses grow. My business will grow. The more my business grows, the more I can help others. The more Corinne's business grows, the more she can help others. Um, so I just really, really, really would love, for, love it if you would share this. And if you just push share the button or if you tag someone that you know specifically needs this specifically okay so thank you tammy and thank you barbara it's good to see you on here barbara i hope that you've gotten started i know barbara you're really struggling with just jumping and and getting started and i hope that you have and i hope that my videos help you and oh mama joanne's on here mama joanne who's lived a healthy whole food lifestyle for years and has been such an inspiration to me. She's one of my very best friends, mamas, and um, she's amazing and uh, asked people to send questions. Yes, always, always, always. Um, I went through I went through last week's video at midnight last night. I went through every single question and either addressed it, liked it, or addressed it today. So I really, really do I really do look and if I can't answer it I'll find someone who can okay so and Corinne I appreciate you being on here today I think this is your first live you've hung out with us all day I love you being here thank you so much and Pam thank you for sharing and you guys have a wonderful week I'm headed out the door you'll have a good weekend I'm going to paint a bed for a client here in town I'm going to paint an iron bed um, for the next several hours until my daughter gets out of school and I will post the I will thank you Tammy I sure will um, So I'm headed out to do that and let's see what else do I have going on? Oh, my husband and I are gonna go on a movie date tonight. My daughter is spending the night somewhere She never does. She's a Klingon told you she has sleep anxiety She doesn't go very often to sleep overnight So we're going to a movie if you have a movie recommendation for us tonight for both my husband and I please post I'll check in later. I would love that. Um, we don't do movie dates very often. What else? Um, 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 um. I think that's it. I think that's it. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. And um, I will see you. I look forward to seeing you guys with both Corinne and I next Friday. Okay? We'll be posting about it. I'm going to, like, make that a big deal. I'm going to make a big deal out of that. So you'll see it on Facebook. So thanks so much. Follow you. Follow you guys on, follow me on Facebook, Instagram. And make sure you sign up for my newsletter on tracyspancy.com. Emily, my virtual assistant, has done a lot of work in there and has made sign up easier. So go check it out. Okay? Thanks so much, guys. Bye.